Welcome back to Butterbean, the mother of all guides. I'm Lucy, I'm a mum of two, an antenatal teacher specialising in birth and infant feeding and the founder of Butterbean. In this video we'll be talking about processing the emotions of fertility treatment. I'm aware the content of this video may be triggering for some viewers, so if it's not for you, please feel free to skip on to another one. So it's worth mentioning that this video follows on from the one titled, Let's Talk About Trying to Conceive. What might help you to cope if you're struggling to get pregnant? First up, this might sound obvious, but it's really important to have support. Can you share your feelings with a close friend or relative? Would you consider joining a support network so that you have people to talk to who really understand what you are going through? Would you like to talk to someone in complete confidence where you needn't be afraid to share exactly how you feel and be helped to deal with the whole experience, including relationship issues? If so, there are counsellors who specialise in working with people affected by infertility and you can find one through the British Infertility Counselling Association website. It's linked below in the comments of this video. Next, recognise that this is a really hard experience and you have good reason to feel whatever you feel, whether it's angry, sad, frightened, anxious, bereaved or confused. Be kind to yourself. Try to do something nice for yourself every day. It doesn't have to cost money or take a lot of time. Even five to ten minutes of me time helps. For some, it might be listening to a favourite song or calling a friend, taking a walk, reading a magazine or book, anything that brings you peace or joy. It's been shown that people cope better with fertility treatment if they take an active interest in it rather than it just letting it happen to them. Ask questions when you see your doctor and read up about um, what's being offered so that you can understand the treatment and what it involves and why. It goes without saying that no one would choose to have a fertility problem, but keep in mind that assisted conception does help thousands of people to create a family they might not otherwise um, have had. So it offers genuine hope to you and everyone who decides to seek medical help. For more information about infertility and the treatment options, you can check out each of the websites linked below. <music> 